Hello, today I'm going to show you how to set up the BL Touch on the Repetier firmware. First thing we need to do is visit the online firmware configuration tool. Once at the configuration tool, we need to make sure we're using the latest stable build. In this case, it's 1.02. Next, we need to upload an existing configuration.h file. If you don't have one, your printer manufacturer should have a stock copy available online. Once inside the general tab, we should be able to see basic processor and board information. Only thing we need to change in here is the double EEPROM set. If it's set one, change it to set two. If it's set two, change it to set one. This will just basically overwrite your existing double EEPROM setting that you have in the firmware for your machine. Now we want to move to the features tab, and this is where we'll be doing most of the changes. Once inside features, we want to check that we have enable servo support and enable Z probing. Then we can scroll down and see that that is unlocked at the whole Z probing menu. And here we enable automatic bed leveling feature. And then we want to tick the box for probe triggers on high. Under Z probe pin, we want to set that to Z min end stop as the probe will be taking the place of our existing Z min end stop. We can leave the probe bed distance at 10 millimeters, but one thing we will want to change is the probe height. At the moment, it's set at 40 millimeters. This will depend on your mounting system that you actually have for the BL touch. So for now, we're going to set it at zero and we can adjust that in the EEPROM later on. Another thing that we'll need to change is the setting for distance to switch off Z probe. For the BL touch, we're going to put that in at 4 millimeters. And for probing repetitions, we're going to put that to 2. That will increase the accuracy of the probe. Now we're going to leave the X and Y offset at 0 because it will completely depend on what mount you have for your BL touch, and we can adjust that later. But what we will put in is some starting scripts. Here we're going to put an M340P0S700 for the start script and for the finish script an M340POS1500. The start script here will just lower the probe and the finish script will just raise the probe back up. And at this point we get to select our actual probing measurement method. Here with the BL Touch, I would recommend using the grid configuration system rather than what the three or the two point system. The grid system will allow you to pick a grid across your board by a set number. Here we have five. So what that will do, it will probe five points across, five points back, five times five, 25 different probe points on your bed. And then here we have the measurements for where it will actually start and stop. For me, 160 is perfect on the X and Y axes, as I have a 200 by 200 bed. So you might want to adjust that depending on the size of your printer. Next, we're going to move up to the mechanics. And under this tab, we can scroll right down and we can get to the end stop setting. Here we want to untick the box for always check end stops. And then we want to change the homing order to X, Y, preheat, then Z. And then here we'll also need to check that we have zero degree centigrade set. So it won't actually try and preheat the hot end before it will home the axis. And I'm just going to change the pre-raised distance from 10 millimeters here just to 5 millimeters to help speed things up a little bit. Now I just want to change a couple more settings here for my X, Y, Z setting. I want to change it so it will home in the middle of my bed. So I'm going to change that to 100 by 100 as I have a 200 by 200 bed. And the last thing that we're going to want to change in here is the Z min. We're going to need to change this switch to electronic normally closed. This is very important as this will actually detect whether or not the probe has actually been actuated or not. And that's it for the settings here in the configuration tool. So we just want to download this existing one, unzip it and install the firmware. Now we go to the unzipped Repetier firmware. We open up the folder and we find the Repetier Arduino file. We click on this and this will open up our Arduino IDE. 
If you don't have Arduino IDE installed, you'll have to go and install that. I'll put a link below. Then we want to go into the Tools tab, check that we've got the right COM port selected, and then that we have the right board selected. This will depend on your 3D printer, as they'll use different boards depending on the model. Then after this, it's just a case of compiling the sketch. On the bottom right hand corner, we'll see the progress of the sketch being compiled. This can take a while, so I'll just speed this up a little. Once it's compiled, it should show you an indicator of how much space it's actually taking up and what the total space you actually have on your board is. It will also show a progress of the firmware being flashed. Again, I've sped this up a little bit as it can take a while to go through the process. At the end of it, it will tell you that the CPU has been reset and your new firmware should be installed. Now for those all important offsets, a trick I like to do is just put a sticker on my bed with a dot on it. The plan here is just then to manually move the printer head in any software that will let you manually interface and control the printer. Here I'm just using Octopi and again just the manual commands here and I'm going to get the head over the dot as close as I can. Once I've got that set, I then need to go back into Octopi or again any other software that you're using that will let you manually control it. And then we're going to go into the terminal and we're going to put the terminal command M114. This will give us our X and Y positions. We want to take a note of that as we're going to use that for the offset. Next, we're going to move to the probe. Again, using the manual commands, we're just going to move the probe over towards the red dot. Our goal here is to get it as precise as we can, so a handy little trick is to put in the following command to actually drop the end of the probe down. This will let us dial it in a little more precise. Once we're happy with the positioning of the probe, all we have to do now is retract the probe back up. We can do that with the following command. And then we just need to get our last set of coordinates and we should have our offset. Again, we're just going to go into the terminal. We're going to put in the M114 and this will give us our X, Y axis coordinates for the probe. We're just going to subtract those from the previous X, Y coordinates that we got for the nozzle and that will give us our offset. Now we just need to tell the printer what the offset actually is. This will be stored under the double EEPROM settings of your printer. You can use any software that will let you adjust your double EEPROM. We're just going to load up the existing one and then we're going to have a look for the Z probe XY offset. Here you can see on my one I have already filled it in, but this is where you would put in your measurements that you got from subtracting one set of coordinates from the other. Here we'll also find the Z probe height. We can adjust this to bring the nozzle down closer to the bed so we get the perfect printing distance when the probe's been actuated. Now we just want to save the double EEPROM settings and that's everything you need set up for the probe. Now we can just send a G32S2 and this will probe the bed and save it to the double EEPROM. Mm -hmm.